Hey, what's going on, everyone? This is Stitch, and... Welcome to Fort Knox. And cuff him to the yes, door. the reason I'm letting this intro play for you is because I want you to notice something right at the beginning of the level here. Freeze! As we CIA! Get your hands in the air! walk up through... And you see right as Bond gets flashbanged by the CIA, he picks up an AK-47. Now, keep this in mind when you try to complete the Specialist Challenge for getting 100 kills with the AK-47. And you'll see that Felix throws you a Terralite 3, which should definitely be used if you're trying to go for the Accuracy Challenge. Now, it's been brought up in my last video, the question of does going for the bonus and or trial targets mess with your accuracy? And I can't give you a for sure answer, but I'm going to say yes, just because you're not actually shooting at an enemy, you're shooting at a wall, essentially. And shooting at a wall isn't going to earn you any accuracy points. So keep this in mind when you're going for the accuracy trial. Farm as many kills as you can in this area here before you enter Fort Knox. Because as soon as you take down that laser, enemies will stop spawning, pretty much. The spawn is infinite until you take down that laser. But, after you take down that laser, be sure to turn around real quick and look on that wall right there, and you'll find the first bonus target of the level. This level is thus far pretty much the ultimate when it comes to Eurocom's so dickery. It will be Jail especially evident when you find the second you. bonus target All that's left right about room. in this room as you take out the two snipers and all the rest of the enemies here. Look up right on this pillar here. Right at the very tip top. Very, very top bonus target right there. If that is not complete and total dickery and making you wonder what was Eurocom on when they put this here, well, I don't know what to tell you. So then we move on to this stupid night vision scene. Who likes this night vision scene, honestly? The super green, monotone, grainy picture? I don't know. I, I, I just don't like this scene. Specifically because the secondary challenges are done down here when you're exploring this scene. Right before you go down the door that Felix just blew open, look at the weapon box on the floor. You'll find a drum head in there that will help you greatly later in the level. Of course, once we get downstairs, this all becomes a hostage rescue situation as well as a bomb defusal situation. None of which I can say is very fun in this night vision, especially because you'll be a little paranoid right at the end when you realize you're on the last part, but you didn't find all three of the bombs or all three of the hostages. Right here, right as the night vision turns off, luckily, you will find the last of each of these. And then the third and final bonus target of the level, you're gonna hate this one. Now if you thought that last one was bad, wait until you see the third and final bonus target in this level. Anybody who's played this level already knows this area here. The area, the main, the final home stretch to the main vault. Where you can either run through and just be killed, try and shoot everyone with uh, an assault rifle or something and miss the door, or you could uh, use the drum head that you salvage from one of the villains, from one of the bad guys in the night vision area 
and just really fuck shit up. But, don't get too into the fucking of the shit, because when you turn around and look up as you get through the second to last door before the main vault, and this is the ultimate move in Dickery right here by Eurocom. Look up, right in this area, right here. Final bonus target of this level. Wow. Just wow. But other than that, I would like to thank you all for watching. I hope this helped you. If it did, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, any future suggestions for the next levels that you want me to accomplish, whatever. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!